This stock is packed full of flavour from all the seafood, shells, the meat, and the infamous Korean chilli powder. It's Jampong, a spicy Korean seafood soup. Welcome back to What Wednesday. It's What Less Wednesday, but we're not missing anything here because this is delicious. You're making a soup, so this is really easy. The prep, you just got to start with some finely sliced ginger, roughly chopped spring onion, and your garlic can just be peeled left whole. I've got a massive onion here, big wedges, so all you need. It's all going to be taken out before you serve up. I'm going to finely slice some rounds of carrot for finishing off the soup later, and then the other half of the carrot just in big chunks, because that's going to add more flavour to the soup. And then whatever other veg you want really, I've just got some Chinese leaf here, or cabbage, green cabbage works well. Roughly chopped, and some courgette slices. I'm going to start with your actual noodles, and these are flat Korean wheat noodles that work a treat, but you can use any type of wheat noodle you find or have. Udon noodle works nicely too. Now, with most dried noodles, I usually say don't boil them, but I'm going to boil these. <laughs> and the reason being is I want to get it to a nice sort of, almost a perfect texture straight away and then cool them before I then just sort of lay them into the hot soup later on. So on the boil, get those in. You're probably talking two to three minutes on that rolling boil. Now. Similarly to sort of sober noodles, I find that if you sort of pre-boil these noodles, you, you kind of remove more of it or any excess starch. And that means when you actually pop it into the soup, the soup doesn't get sort of claggy or sticky. Keeps the soup nice and clean. So I'd say that's actually taken more like three to four minutes. And what you want is for them to sort of be easily curlable around your chopsticks or your fork and pretty much 90% cooked. I've got a bowl full of cold water here that I can dunk them straight into. It's always worth t checking the texture of that, but what you're looking for is for Nothing in the noodle to be hard, but for it to still have a bite. Now, I've got my pan of boiling water here, which I'm going to use as well to blanch my meat. I've got some fatty sort of pork shoulder here. I'm going to pop that straight in there and blanch that for four to five minutes as well. And that will just bring out any fatty impurities from that to make a nice, clean soup stock. Now, you don't have to pre fry anything if you don't want to. But the reason why I'm doing this first before adding the stock is mainly to cook through the chili powder. This is gojugaru, the Korean chili powder. So I've got my plate of roughly chopped base ingredients, my ginger, carrot, onion, spring onion, and garlic. And that can all go in together. I want a medium heat here, or medium to high, but not too bothered about browning my vegetables, just sort of Lightly cooking them through before I add the chilli powder. Chilli powder. And this is more, sort of a, slightly on this, I'd say sweeter side than too spicy. Give that a good mix. Also, when you cook it, it sort of lets off a nice sort of smoky flavour as well. You don't want to cook that for too long. Just that sort of 30 seconds of heat will do. And then we're going to top it up with my chicken stock. And as our lovely cameraman Lee just said, it already looks Korean. I mean, all you need is some simple ingredients. I'm gonna pop that blanched piece of pork shoulder back in. That's gonna add flavor. The longer you cook it, the more flavor you're gonna have. And of course, I've got all my seafood that I'll take you through in a second, and that's gonna add even more flavor from all the shells from the seafood, which ha happens quite last minute. But to go with that seafood flavor, I've got this stuff here to add to my stock. And this is a sardine dashi stock. You can find this in Asian supermarkets. It's basically dried kelp, i.e. seaweed, and dried sardines or anchovies powdered up. 
And usually it's got some mushroom extract in there as well, shiitake, dry shiitake mushrooms, really deep, savory flavor. So I'm gonna put one of those dashi powders into here and then bring that to a boil. Now, because I've used freshly made chicken stock, we usually have it in the freezer and we just melt it through. This shouldn't take too long at all. If you're cooking the whole stock from scratch, then of course you wanna cook your chicken stock through until it's got as much flavor as possible in the soup. And that would take maybe three to four hours. But with this, 30 minutes on the boil, you're pretty good. You can use whatever seafood you want for this, but the classic is usually clams, which are looking lovely and fresh, and some mussels, <laughs> along with these fresh prawns. When you're dealing with clams or mussels, I highly recommend to wash them through with cold water many, many times. I've probably washed each one of these bowls of seafood or shellfish about seven or eight times. And especially with mussels, you wanna try and get any of this sort of ropey bits out and then just keep washing them time and time again, just to make sure you get rid of any excess grit. The prawns, I wanna keep whole with the shell on, but I'm gonna devein them. So just a bamboo skewer does the job and then you can just pull them out like that. So this has been going for about half an hour. And as I say, because we started with a really flavoursome chicken stock already and added that quick dashi, I'm okay to just carry on and finish this dish off. I'm removing all these good bits, but there's no reason you why you can't eat the carrots and the onion just with a bit of soy or something like that. But I just need to make way and make space for my seafood, which of course, is gonna add even more flavor to this stock. Don't waste your pork either. I'm just gonna take that out and I'll slice it so you can add bits of pork into the noodle soup as you serve up. With seafood, you don't ever wanna overcook it. Now I'd say the prawns might take a little bit longer than my shellfish, my mussels and my clams. So I'm gonna get the prawns in first. And the prawn shells and heads will add loads of flavour to the stock almost immediately. I'm just going to serve up a family size dish here. My soaked noodles, they'll all kind of separate out and warm through just from the hot stock afterwards. My prawns have had about a minute or two. I think they need an extra minute to cook through fully. So at that point is when you want to add the rest of your seafood. And that's my mussels and my clams and they'll all open up nicely as this stock is bubbling away. Notice I haven't seasoned this yet because I wanted to get all the seafood in before I give it a taste and then add soya sauce to my liking. So once you've cooked your seafood, then taste your stock. And you will find straight away that you've got a lot more flavor than before the seafood went in. And quite a fair bit of natural saltiness from the seafood and shellfish. I'm gonna add some light soy sauce, very roughly. From here, it's nice and easy. And that is just a bit of your veg. That doesn't take long at all to blanch. You're probably going for, because everything's so thinly sliced, about a minute max. A couple of slices of that pork. And then all you have to do is top it up with your boiling hot soup. And you don't have to worry that you're taking your seafood out if it's cooled a little because this soup is so hot it's going to warm the whole thing through once again. My homemade Korean spicy seafood soup. I love this because it's not heavy it's a really lovely subtle flavour with that stock. The chilli just hits you with a little tingle on the tongue.
you like this type of food, like Korean, Japanese, Chinese, any type of Asian cuisine, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ding, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time.